Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, guys? I just got the new Asus ZenBook S from Micro Center. Saw some uh, reviews on Reddit saying that this was a good thing. I wanted to test it out because I've been looking for a portable device as I go to South America and Brazil and whatnot. And not that anything's wrong with the Zephyrus G15, which I'm actually currently recording from, but it's kind of heavy and it doesn't come with a webcam. And I don't know, the, the inbound microphone's not that great. I, I ended up buying this Rode one. So we'll see if the microphone's good. That's my quality of metrics here is, is it good webcam or at least has a webcam? I mean, it doesn't really matter how great it is. Um, and then, you know, can I play some games and can I do productive work? So let's take a look at this dual action camera background and I'm just gonna be having it up from this view, me talking about it while having another camera up. So I'm gonna be making more uh, like benchmark reviews on my BlendLogic tech channel. Of course, this one is my vlog type content. Michelle just got back running 5K. Don't tell Peachtree Race, but uh, she cheated. That's a cheater right there. Cheater alert. Uh-oh, and Gabe's gonna be on the camera too. She cheated. skipped cheated. She skipped the lap and uh, yeah, don't tell the event organizers. So what from the United by tracks is like yeah. First thing I'm noticing is like this laptop's really light. When I was at Micro Center, I was looking at all the other gaming laptops. And Matt, they were pretty heavy, right? Like this one feels really light, feels really good. Um, I like how the color is coming out on my other camera, just random side talk. And I have the same exact A6000 camera coming out of both. It could just be the lighting. I look very pale on this selfie camera right here. Uh, but this is a light laptop, feels light. Um, Try to open up the box. Shoot, Matt, I might need that knife, bro. And it's, this is a 13 inch Asus ZenBook. Oh, wow, look, you pop it open like this, and the laptop, I don't know if you guys saw that. You pop it open, and the laptop gets propped up. That's some nice packaging right there. Wait, that's the laptop? ZenBook, world's lightest 13 inch 2.8K OLED laptop. Oh, it's so light. Yeah, I know. I think I this, is, this is gonna be cool for Brazil. Yeah. So I don't have to like bring my gaming laptop. I don't have to, I had, uh, like I was saying, I had, I had an Elgato webcam, which is really bulky. Michelle's seen it. Um, so yeah, this got good reviews because the 6800U has a great integrated graphics card, which could help with video editing. Um, and I guess it could help with your web browsing experience because a lot of Edge and Chrome browsers use hardware acceleration. So it's got a lot of cool stickers here. And uh, lots of stickers actually that come on here. Oh, it seems to come with a calculator thing here. Please remove this sticker before using this laptop. I'm actually gonna leave it on as I do a review. I'm gonna press the first power on button. Um, see if it comes charged. It is a touchscreen laptop. Michelle, touchscreen laptop. This could replace your laptop. See, I want one. Uh-oh. I, I don't have a laptop. Wait, what the heck? I'm in the market. It's my laptop. Okay, guys, it didn't come charged. That's kind of disappointing. <laughs> I'm going back into the thing just to see what's going on. It comes with a nice sleeve, it appears. Comes a vendor, no. This is either a laptop right here, right here I'm showing up here. It's a laptop case or laptop sleeve. And unfortunately it did not come charged, which is okay. Because it comes with an accessory box. So I have two cameras here. I gotta make sure I'm doing this right for inboxing impressions, first impressions. Um, I do like the boxing it came in, just the little details that make it feel sleek and powerful. For the Apple fanboys, this might be the M2 MacBook Killer. AMD's been doing a great job. They actually just announced their 7000 series, so this one might be the one to do. So let's see what's in this accessories box. Okay, oh what? It literally has, let me see if I can get this on this camera. It has instructions to use this as like a, a vent. That doesn't sound great as a, for my options as a, if this has good temperatures or not. So it comes with a USB to USB-C. Here, USB, USB-C. This camera, USB, USB-C. 
comes with a USB adapter. Really bad at showing this in the cameras. USB adapter, USB-C to USB adapter, that's pretty cool. And then I think finally the charging block. Oh, and it comes with a plug. Okay. So the last thing in here was the charging block. <clears throat> Let me just toss this aside. So the plug comes separately. I guess this would be for uh, different markets. And here, I'll show here for different markets here. The autofocus isn't focusing in right. <laughs> so let's get this baby charged up and let's just run through some of the initial setup. That's what I plan on doing. And of course, this is all being recorded on my 2020 Zephyrus model. Jerry, you gonna buy this laptop from me? It'll be $5,000. All right, Jerry, you gotta go back to Augusta and get some. Oh. oh shoot, it's not turning on, boys. Oh yeah, it's charging. I was about to say. So when you plug it in, there's some charge lights up here, here. Four ports, a microphone, headphone slot. And then exhaust fans and another port here. So three ports total. And they give you a dongle for the, your USB, USB-A. So let's see how much, all right, there we go. I opened it up, finally get some charging. Let's zoom in this camera. I've never seen Windows 11 start up, even though I installed it on my other computer. Some first impressions of this trackpad, it seems pretty good. Asus does a good job, they did a good job on that. Uh, a615, just adjust this camera real quick. All right, so let's take a look. Matt, what's your password and Wi-Fi? This is going on stream. All right, so I'm just going through this setup. I've actually never done Asus setup before. I don't want to do all this stuff. And it comes with McAfee. Bruh, all right, returning this laptop, comes with McAfee pre-installed. All right, so one thing I'm noticing on this OLED is if you can see here on screen, there's a glare, but these blacks are pretty dark. And that should happen with OLED because it's not lighting up the screen. It seems like a really good laptop so far. A really light. One kilogram. One kilogram light. Michelle, you want to feel how light this is? Yeah. It might be lighter than your camera. That's pretty good. Uh oh wifey reaction to how light it is. Actually, it's heavier than I thought for this size. Oh. What's up it? with this, uh, what is this? It's saying it could be a number pad. Oh. Dude, they put a whole onion on here. What about the ports? What ports does it have? It's just USB-C. That's the same with the MacBook. Oh, so how do you charge your phone? You have to get a USB-C adapter. They did give you this one though, a USB C A to USB C. Nice. Harvey, my birthday's coming up. <laughs> Your birthday just passed. <laughs> what about the screen? Look at the screen. It looks nice. It's like better than yours. It's 2.8. It almost looks like a MacBook screen. It is pretty nice. It's very crisp. Touch screen. Though I'm never gonna touch the screen. Let's get. So out of the box comes with 952 gigabytes, 909 gigabytes RAM usable. So yeah, just my point of view from a day-to-day -day user, I like the screen getting started up. I got to download Steam so I can play video games. The trackpad feels okay. I will say I honestly think that I have the Zephyrus trackpad right next to me. It seems a little bit smoother. Something I need to check is the re refresh rate. I heard that this one, yeah, something about the Zephyrus and the 144 hertz screen just seems better or nicer to look at though. 60 hertz isn't that bad and if you were getting a MacBook, it would be the same type of deal. All right, so yeah, setting up League. I'm gonna be testing out League of Legends, Dota 2, DayZ, and other games by request on the Blend Logic Tech channel. Uh, was to speak on this laptop from just a personal vlog type content very light light way lighter than my Zephyrus G15 which I'm holding like I think the Z uh, the 15 is G15 is uh, 
about three pounds. This one feels very light, very easy to fit in the bag. And um, first impressions on it is very light. I'm actually holding it underneath, like right here. It does feel actually kind of warm. So I need to get hardware monitor and I'll let you guys know during the test as well how that uh, appears. And basically, the screen is nice. The blacks were dark. Um, trackpad seems okay. Thought that there was a better refresh rate before I bought this, and uh, being stuck at 60 is okay. Would have preferred 90. Gotta return it. So right now, we are writing at 3.5. Probably can't see this on screen, unfortunately. The zoom ain't working that great. 3.553 gigahertz and 16 gigabytes RAM. So yeah. That's my quick take. It does get warm to the touch. Obviously, some other reviewers have shown that's a single fan setup, but right now it seems pretty light to the touch, and we'll test out that gaming performance and my thoughts on being an all-in-one to take on your travels or just have a good uh, work laptop that could have decent gaming performance. We'll see you guys on the BlendLogic Tech channel for more tech uh, content reviews and keep on this back channel for the, my own personal channel for just day in the life and more casual type of discussions. Peace.